All right, time to use my brand new rice cooker. Why isn't it going in? What the heck's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's time for another how to life hack. So today I'm just going to show you guys how to insert an electrical plug into one of these tamper resistant outlets. So as you can see, I was having a hard time inserting it. So let's compare the old rice cooker, which fits in there versus the newer one. It's almost identical. If you take a look at it, see the shape of it is the taper is a little bit different. It's a slightly, but it should go in there. See the spacing is exactly the same. All right, so let's take a look at the tamper resistance outlet right here. What makes this tamper resistant? It has a piece of plastic. Of course, proceed with caution whenever you work with electrical components. Okay. Do you see that plastic that covers the, the outlet? It's tamper resistant. So once again, if I use my old rice cooker, plug you see the the wider side on the left it goes in smoothly see that now if I try to insert the new one it just won't fit and it fits in the other outlets easily let me show you okay for example let's connect it here see how easy and smooth it goes in what about out here in the garage Yep, that works. All right, so my strategy is to wiggle it with a little bit of force. Wiggle it back and forth. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try to do like a counterclockwise or clockwise motion to put it in. But what yeah, I wanna aim for is to open the door. At least I made the one that worked on the bottom. We're good to go. 